Hey guys, so today in this video, we're going to be doing something a little different. As you noticed, an image popped up. Now another image. Now another image. Now another image. You guys may be wondering, what are all these images? Confusion, maybe in your head right now. So let me explain to you guys what these images are. I'm trying a different type of video. I'm going to be editing this in a different type of way. And this video is going to be about tips and tricks for up and coming programmers. This video maybe is when for maybe someone for when they're just a baby in programming, when they're first starting, when they're a teenager in programming, so they're pre moderate, or when they're an adult in programming, so they know a good amount. Trust me, no matter what, you'll get something from this video. No matter what. And if you don't get something from the video, please let me know in the comments down below and I'll give you a tip about something that you can learn. So, let's begin. Now, I have four different tips I have made for you guys. So let's go with number one. Don't rage quit. I know that programming can be just like making you want to rip your hair out. And I understand that. But trust me, it's not worth it to leave your code. It's not worth it just stop coding for like a month or two. Trust me, I've also sometimes just not like coding or like I got so mad from this one program that I just stopped coding for a month. It's just not worth it. And if you have been um, coding and you're about to rage quit and you've been coding for, for holding this code for the past hour or so, just explain your program to yourself and try to rewrite the code. So I know that typing down all of that code must be like so annoying. Like, oh my God, why would you let me do this? You guys must be really confused again. Well, there's always tiny errors that you think you don't make, but you do make. And when you try to explain the program to yourself, you're able to see your errors. So trust me, those two things help. And the third tip I have is gonna be a transition to my next topic. Use the internet! So, number two, use the internet. There's so many problems that you can fix just by searching it up. I have been experienced so many times, and if you try learning something from like a book, or a teacher which overprices themselves, trust me, it's not worth it. The book can be outdated, the teacher may just be stupid. What you can do instead is that search it up. If you're programming, you have the internet. You have Google. You have Internet Explorer. You have Bing. You have Mozilla Fo Firefox. You have any of these search engines. All you have to do is search up what you want, and it'll come up. And there's many different pages where there's like someone asking a question, and people answering them. Look at those. They may answer your question as well. And some useful sites, if you're having problems, is W3Schools, Khan Academy, and Code Academy, just to name a few. If you search up your problem online, you get tons of more different types of um, like sites that can teach you stuff. It's basically a teacher, but it's online, but then it's really useful. So, that's my second thing. My third, um, my third tip, number three, is learn the basics of many coding languages, like a vast amount of coding languages instead of just learning one language very well at first. Like when you're first starting coding, this is a tip for you guys. Trust me, if you know a lot of languages moderately, like not the best, but you still know them, instead of knowing one language a lot, it'll help you way more for learning new languages. Cause you have a new perspective. You're gonna be able to see something from a whole different view. And with that, you're gonna be able to do stuff easy, easily. And it's just gonna be easier. And as I said, if you know a lot of language is at first, you'll be able you'll be able to go try hard, like smashing typing, you know, every single day just going to try on this one language after some time and it'll be way more easier than, than how it would be if you just learned one language a lot. Because you're able able to look at stuff from a new perspective, like I said. So it's way better. And the way you think about things, like just in everyday life as well, will completely change for the better. I've learned, I've had this in my own experiences, 
and trust me, it's mind blowing to be honest. Like to be able to think of a, a situation, like talking with your friends and all, and someone says this random tip or something, and you're just thinking, I can think of a better way to do that. You're able to think of things in a whole new way, which is way more useful. And now my final tip. Don't think you know everything. It makes me so mad when I see people like, oh my god, I know everything about Python. Or I am so good at JavaScript or C language, C++. You know, a whole bunch of random languages. You don't. There's so many new updates coming to languages every single day that there's no way to keep up. And no one knows everything about programming language. Like, not even the creators know everything about the language. Because there's so many other people who are making libraries for it, who are making new ways to do things in it. So, if you do think you know it, reevaluate your thoughts. Like, please. No one knows everything, neither do you. So, I understand if you're really good. Like, at one point, I was think, oh my god, I'm so good at Python, I'm so good at Java. Like, but now that I've come past that time, I realize I don't. I don't know everything, and I have no idea why I thought that before. And like, there's so many new things coming out, new methods of doing stuff, libraries, and new languages for the language that you're already doing co are coming out. Like, and they're coming out see, every single day. It's not like, oh, every month or so they're coming. It's every single day of the week, 24-7, 365, every single day. So trust me when I say that you don't. And that wasn't, I wasn't trying to be mean there. It's just a blunt. I'm trying to be blunt here. I'm saying trust. I'm like trying to help you guys with this. So yeah, these are my four tips. One, two, three, four, about how to get how to get better coding and just how to ha put a good positive mindset on yourself and what mindset you should have when coding. Now, if you enjoyed the video and this is another type of video that I usually don't do. Leave it with a like and subscribe, comment down below how it was, and turn on the post notifications to get notified whenever I release a new video. And with that said, I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye!